February 27th, 2019. It's uh, about 6.30. I'm almost a muscle hauler. Um, yeah, I can't believe my dumb ass is doing this shit before a meeting this morning. Um, and I'm going to try and plan on doing it twice next week uh, in the mornings before uh, heading off to work. Uh, just reason for my uh, doing that is that I'm taking uh, my girls and my wife on a Disney cruise. I think we're leaving on the 9th and we're getting back like on the 17th. Uh, we'll be in Florida with the in-laws and the times we're not on the boat. But just trying to squeeze in as many sessions as I can uh, because I know I'm going to be working out while I'm on the cruise, but I'm not going to be chopping. So we'll take axe handles with me and we'll get into aerobic room and swing the handles as though I'm cutting logs. Uh, but it's not the same. Everyone who knows it, does it, knows it. A um, uh, lot of discussion on the internet about Steele's decision to uh, eliminate the wedger and spray uh, on the Timber Sport Series. And, I, and again, I find it very unfortunate. It's not in the best interest of the athlete. Um, however, I'm reminded of something that David Bolst had said at a competitor's meeting uh, on the U.S. Series way back when it was basically the World Championships, um, probably 2006, 2007. And Roger posed a question to the group Roger Phelps posed a question to the group about a significant change in something. And David said, we're all professionals. As long as we have enough notice and time in order to adapt and implement it as part of our training, we can overcome and learn to do just about anything that you present us. Um, and so even though I think that this decision is bad, I, I don't think it's um, a deal breaker. I think it's. I think their logic and their rationale is rather stupid, um, and it's irrational. Um, however, they make the rules, and if we want to continue to play, we have to abide by those rules. Um, but so be it. Move on. Um, today, I'm just going to uh, see what I got in the tank. Probably will be an abbreviated session, not really on high volume. I don't know how much I'm going to share on social media. Um, it doesn't look good when a lawyer who's, a, <laughs> who's training during the workday, um, so I may not have to load the videos until later on in the evening, um, so it will appear as though I'm actually doing my job, but I am doing my job. I'm reading emails and answering stuff and doing everything that's necessary for me to represent my clients uh, zealously and uh, will continue to do so ethically until I get tired of doing this shit. Um, so, uh, been a good week thus far training. Um, my uh, lungs are getting better, uh, and I was able to uh, do my full hour of cardio on Monday morning, followed by all of my plyometric and med ball throws, etc. Uh, and then on Tuesday, I was able to squat to a moderate weight of uh, 150 for multiple sets, multiple reps, uh, as well as deadlift to uh, 500 for an easy set of five. Um, so, um, I want to plan on doing probably three of these early morning sessions uh, over the course of the next work week, next 10 days uh, before I go on the cruise. So uh, if anyone's got any questions, shoot them in the comments and I, I'll either do a video on it. You know, I get a lot of questions about doing um, axe repair and that sort of crap, but that's already already been done. Just do a, just do a Google search, I mean, do a YouTube search. I mean, um, I've done it, it's not overly complicated. Uh, just a trial and error sort of thing. But in any event, let's ask first day that I've trained before going to work. Holy shit, my body's taking a while to get warmed up and the barn is cold as balls. So uh, yeah, springboard to start out with. Why not? Log split on me when I threw the axe into it, so I didn't really get too much out of that tree. I may cut another one. I just want to get comfortable on the boards a little bit. 
uh, but I'm pretty pleased. The, the weight loss has helped me quite a bit in that event. I'm going to go into the single buck and uh, again working on very deliberate things trying to avoid wrapping uh, particularly in the middle of the log. So I'm um, going to be real deliberate with my strokes particularly on this first cut. Again, uh, started out good and ended up good, but in the middle, I'm still wrapping too much, even though I'm pushing the saw away from me. So I'm gonna have to work on that, maybe loosen my grip a bit more. Now I'm gonna cut a 14 inch tulip poplar underhand with a training ax. is an 11 inch white oak training axe. Uh, I might stop if I come to any imperfections because this is one of my better training axes. Um, no goals in mind because white oak's hard as hell. Uh, so we'll see what happens. Um, again, this time of year for me is about losing the fear and stop being a pussy. Uh, words of my father. <laughs> that's, that's, some of my, that's some of the crap that I grew up with. <laughs> Don't be a pussy, son. So um, this one is going to be just, again, trying to lose the fear, getting back on the board and hitting the log as well as I can. This is a good, hard 12 and a half inch tulip popper. There's no way in hell I'm going to cut the whole thing. Next cut on the single, again, I'm trying to be methodical um, and get the saw straight. I finally felt the positions of the saw moving back. In other words, what I did is after I made the starting cut, I brought the saw back in my body to see how it felt with my stance. So I got to figure out how to put myself in that position at the start of the stroke, at least as I get down to the transitions to the middle of the log. That's what I'm working on. balance and that's what caused this all to cut out. I'm still wrapping bad. I don't know. I'm just gonna have to figure something out here. It's gonna take a while for me to adjust to this but I'm gonna make it happen. Uh, OCD is a bitch and it's a blessing. slow gradual process with this single buck 
I'm, I'm starting to feel the positions that I need to be in to execute what I'm looking for. So, uh, a couple hundred cuts and I'll be right. It's just gonna take a couple hundred cuts. Um, right now I'm gonna cut a 14 inch underhand. Eh, it's a big 14 inch underhand. Uh, so, uh, no goals in mind because this one's hard. Next log is the other side of that 11 inch white oak. Uh, it's a bit naughty, so I'm using my super thick hardwood axe. Um, it'll take a heck of a lot more hits than it did with the other one. So uh, if I had to guess, I'm shooting for 14 in the front and probably 12 in the back. work so I'm gonna make one more single butt cut again working on the things that I've been talking about um, and uh, you know try and uh, be methodical and be straight and we'll see what happens. 